Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, Yana Burke B, and it is Monday. So it's either Blaster Monday, but there's no Blaster here, and that video probably already went up today, so go check that out. Or it's Mail Time Monday, so it's Mail Time Monday. I ruined it for you, but... Uh, <laughs> Yes, yeah, so if you missed any of the previous Mail Time Mondays, go check them up up there. Uh, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button, like, share, notification bell, all that fun stuff. Check out the links as well uh, in the description for all my fun other things that I do. And uh, say hi in the comments and tell me what you think of this Mail Time Monday business. I don't know. I gotta open my mail, right? Might as well... What? what <laughs> can't talk. Might as well let you see what I'm getting and... Also, a little bit of previews for his other videos coming on down the line. All right, let's just jump into this box that's right here. Uh, this one is from Walmart uh, slash Jet.com. I don't know what Jet.com is. I don't think I've ever been to Jet.com. Um, so I must have gotten it from Walmart, which somehow is linked with Jet.com. I don't know. I'll have to go check out Jet.com uh, some other time. But um, let's see what we got. Oh, this is fun. What? Really? Really? Okay. Well, that's nonsense. So... <laughs> wow, okay. Um, hmm. Jet.com. Um... Not cool, not cool. So obviously this is supposed to be the 2021 Premier Draft Sage three autos in every box, um, but I get an empty box. Huh. Okay. Um, now unfortunately, I ordered this a long time ago, so I don't I don't remember when. I don't know if there was a date anywhere on the package in the front. Uh. August 2nd. So hopefully I can still get my money back. Um, because that's a bunch of garbage. For sure. Alright. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> that's, that's absolutely absurd. Um. Yeah. Uh. I don't know what Jet.com is, but obviously it's some bull, 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 you know what. All right, uh, let's open something a little more reputable, I guess. Uh, Limited Run Games, uh, uh, they do a great job. They put out games, um, well, Limited Run, with a Limited Run video games, um, of games that typically wouldn't get a physical release these days. Uh, usually end up being digital, or were, were digital at one point, uh, and then they put out physical versions for a limited time. Um, it's cool stuff. Let's see. I don't know what this one is. I probably have a whole bunch of these on the way or in piles somewhere. So uh, I don't know which one of these would specifically be, but let's see what we got. A uh, little information here. Club O'Fun. That's cool. Uh, we got After Party. That's a cool cover there right there. After Party. I uh, don't remember too much about this game, um, but it sounded fun. But uh, we'll check it out uh, for the Switch. Uh, then we got some more goodness. Oh, an after party like poster. That's cool to go along with it. After party card. Uh, Ground Zero Texas uh, for the PlayStation 4. Now, if you're not familiar with Ground Zero Texas, it was a game that came out. It was one of those like, um, what the, what the uh, I forget what they were called. Um, like motion video or no, they were like real time. They were like videos. They were like games that were videos. There was a name for it, and I'm just completely blanking on it. They, came, they were big, popular, like, early days, early 90s with the Sega CD. That's I mean, This was originally on the Sega CD. That's what they're trying to emulate there. Um, the, the motion capture... No, motion, full motion video. There it is. Full motion video. FMV. Um, games. There was, like, Ground Zero Texas. Uh, night... Uh, night... Uh, no, what was, the, what was the one with the vampires? Night... Not Night Shift. Night... Uh, why am I blanking? That one with the vampires and, and the girl from um, Who's the Boss? Not not Who's the Boss. Wow, I'm I am doing terrible right now. From um uh different strokes. Uh, Dana Plato, who unfortunately is no longer with us. Uh, and it got like banned and uh, what? Night Trap, Night Trap, yeah, Night Trap. 
Uh, and there's a bunch, there was a bunch of other ones, but those, that Night Trap was, this is similar to that. This was one of those. Sewer Shark was another one that was big on the Sega CD. Um, and we got a King of Fighters card and then a Ground Zero Texas card to go along with also the King of Fighters 2000. Um, so they put out a bunch of these, limited one run did. But, you know, these King of Fighter games are kind of cool. I mean, they're Street Fighter-ish, uh, but they just kept going with them. They, I don't know how many King of Fighters games they've done. But, um, yeah, this was one came up. So, cool stuff. Certainly better than the first box I opened, that's for sure. Uh, all right, let's see what else we got. We got, this is from Target. So, let's see what we can find from Target. Hopefully not an empty box, like from Walmart. Because that was garbage. Absolute trash. All right. Let's hide the information. Um, and we got a couple boxes of Prism Draft Picks. Panini Prism Draft Picks football. Um, yeah, a couple boxes. Thought I ordered more than two, but maybe they're in a different box somewhere. Uh, cool stuff. Uh, we'll definitely be opening them on a uh, blast off Monday in the future. So cool stuff. Uh, hopefully we'll find some cool uh, cards, maybe an autograph or, or certainly a parallel of some of the top quarterbacks in the rookie class and whoever else we can find some cool stuff. All right. Um, that was better than the other box as well. All right. I don't know what this box is, but let's bring it on up. Uh, this one is from somewhere. This one's also from Target. All right, let's see what we got. Hopefully something good. All right, we got... Side the information. We got some score boxes, score blaster boxes, some score football blaster boxes 2021. Now, funny story about these ones. I think these are the ones. They must be. Because um, I didn't buy any more of these, did I? Maybe I did. Um, when these first popped up on the... Oh, maybe those are the hanger boxes. I can't remember now. But one of them, either the hanger boxes or blaster boxes, I don't remember which it was at this point. When popped up on a Target, initially, like you know, a couple months ago or whatever it was, um, they were said they were 2020 and not 2021, which I thought was weird. So I ordered them being like, well, these are 2020. That's pretty cool, too. Obviously, then they realized their mistake and quickly changed it to 2021. But cool stuff. Blaster boxes. Um, score, obviously, a, you know, um, one of the lower lower end products for football. But cool. Always cool to open up some football when you can get it. Um, so those will be coming soon to a blaster blast off Monday uh, near you as opposed to the Sage high end or high series, whatever the hell, empty box. Like, seriously? Like, ser and like it's empty. And I definitely just didn't order one of these. There's no way I ordered one. All right, I don't know. Kind of garbage. Uh, ho hopefully I can get uh, my money back on that. All right. Um, oh, I did not uh, do a good job of concealing my information on this box. This one must have fell through the cracks. All right, this one's from Target, though. Um tried to black out all my information and everything, but this one apparently I missed out. Hopefully you didn't steal all my information there. Um, if you're even watching. All right, what do we got in here? All right, we got Panini Chronicles Draft Picks Blaster Boxes. Um, again, uh, you know, just trying to get some more football stuff on the channel. You know, open a lot of baseball, but you know, try to get some more football, footballs. A little bit tougher to come by than baseball so um the the draft stuff with the collegiate stuff is easier to find i don't love it but um just wanted to get some football to open up on the channel so coming to a blaster blast off monday near you <laughs> i'm like the sage high end high series garbage or whatever it was um all right we got one more box in us yeah another one for target i believe yes this is target I always tell from the yellow tape. Um, so let's see what we got in here. Uh, 
Uh, my information. We got. Ooh, okay. This is a mega box, giant box. I don't know exactly. They call them different things depending on where you got them from. The mega box of series two, 16 pack, 16 cards per pack, 256 total cards. So lots of cards. Only a Target exclusive one Soto highlight card in there as well. So yeah, we'll definitely be opening this at some point. I, I'm, I don't know. I gotta maybe start a new series of Mega Box. Well, I can't do Mondays. I already have two series on Monday. Me Mega Fridays or something or Mega something. Mega Sundays. I don't know. Doesn't really ring as well as Mega Mondays, but I don't know. Who knows? But we got this. We'll open it up at some point on the channel. Um, and yeah. Um, so, wow, we started off really bad. Uh, hopefully I can get my money back for that because that is nonsense. That is absolute trash right there. Walmart, Jet.com, whatever Jet.com is. What the hell happened? Um, I'll have to send them the video of me opening it and being like, uh, yeah, where the, where's my product? What happened here? Someone opened it up and took all the stuff out and then jumped it into... That is that is bad. I'm going to go... I have a good mind to go to Consumer Affairs about this. Um, all right, that's going to do it for this week. Thank you everyone for watching. Subscribe, like, share. Come back next week. We'll open up some more boxes that hopefully have stuff in them. Uh, not empty boxes. Uh, nonsense. That's happened to me from Amazon too, but I feel like in those cases it was an accident. That was no accident. They put literally an empty box in. All right, anyways. Uh, I don't know. I got nothing else to say. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Have fun. Talk to you next time. Bye.